Okay. All right. Hey, it's Lisa Cool Thing in the Valley. So we're gonna do the thing on setting your Facebook account for privacy settings. And we're, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Why do you wanna do that? You wanna do that so that you keep all of the goobers out there from commenting on your posts and asking people to private message them. It's gonna keep people from getting all your friends' contact information. It's gonna keep you from being exposed to other people when they share things they shouldn't. By the way, if you don't know who posted something personally, don't share it. Don't share stuff that you are not absolutely positively positive that you know who posted it and it's legit because otherwise you're exposing more people to scammers. They're out there people and they look real. Make sure you know who you're sharing. Okay, so you're gonna come in here. So I'm just in the regular feed. This is your feed. So if you go like this, that's all the posts, that's your feed. Down at the bottom where it says menu, you're gonna click on that. Okay, then it's gonna have your name up at the top and then a whole bunch of stuff that you joined or whatever. And then you're gonna get this little gear right at the top. Touch the little gear. Then if you look down in here, you're gonna to go to your profile settings. And look here, privacy. Control who can friend, contact, and view your profile. This will help you avoid having your account spoofed. Click on that and you're going to follow the directions. So here's a, here's a different guide, but whatever. Okay, we'll manage your profile. We're gonna go through here and just say, yeah, that looks good. Okay, we're okay with that. Just check that that's all correct. And then we're gonna come down here and here's a, a, a thing that'll talk to you. This gives you all kinds of articles and information about privacy. And then you can go into here, your activity, and here's where you can do all of that. So are you, right now, this is your audience, or Carol is set. Her audience is set to friends. This will be your audience for future, future posts. So only people who are friends with her on Facebook are gonna see her posts. That's what you wanna do. So if you're on public, get off of that. Go on to friends, okay? Then you're gonna come limit who can see your past posts. So you can turn this on and you can say, hey, I don't want anybody to see posts from the past. And that's right in here. You're gonna go, who can see the people pages and lists you follow? So when you are scrolling through your feed and uh, an ad pops up and you'll see somebody's name that you know at the top, that's what this is about. So you're gonna go in here and you're gonna say, nope, I don't want that public. It's only gonna be to people that I know, my friends. And then who can see your future reels? Right now, Carol has that set to public. We don't want that. And look here, the reels are, are little videos that you do. So do you want to allow others to share your reels to their stories? No, you don't. No. Do you want this set to public? No, you don't. Put it on friends only. Okay, so there's that. Oops, I didn't save it. No, friends, save. Now we're good. Okay, who can send you friend requests? Yeah, nope, do that, friends of friends. And now you're not gonna get these random friend requests from all these random people. Okay, who can see your friends lists? Only your friends, protect people you're friends with. Don't be public with that because then all those scammers can get your information. Who can look up your information using the email address? Oh my gosh, no. Friends, don't put that for everyone because that's how the scammers get your information. Who can look up your phone number? Oh, friends, take that off of everyone. Do you want search engines outside of Facebook to link to your profile? No, you do not want that to happen. And there you go. We just went through all of that and we are, we are, we are good with that. We know now that, that people aren't gonna get in there and look at stuff we don't want them to look at. So that's one step you can take. There are privacy settings on your phone itself that you can get into too. Um, so you can turn off trackers in your phone. We can get into that at another time. But right now, get your safe profile set on your Facebook account and that'll save you and all of your friends from all of these scammers do that first.